Hello, Fantastic Beast fans. Recently, I was rewatching old videos to prepare for my newest book release. In doing so, I rediscovered two old theories that suddenly made more sense when connected to the image we recently saw from Crimes of Grindelwald. I'm Susan Chappal with Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts to bring you the clues. Join me and other Fantastic Beast fans here on the Beast Chaser Forum as we uncover the secrets, discover what's coming first, and play along with Rowling's newest game. First, before we begin with today's theories, I must thank Luca for posting on last week's comments a fabulous find. She found a report on Leaky Cauldron about a full cast list posted on Reddit, supposedly from one of the casting agencies that includes so many clues for the films to come. If it's legit, I'll have to follow up with a full video on the possibilities, but for the moment, I just want to highlight one aspect. Several unspeakables are listed, including from the rooms of time and space. Maybe the theory I posted last week is on track. I'll link to the leaky article in the description box below. And thanks, Luca. A couple of videos ago, Wall Does, one of the followers of this vlog, gave us the brilliant theory of Grindelwald casting a spell in the Crimes of Grindelwald image. He noticed yet another peculiar item in that cast photo. If you'll notice, when the Deathly Hallow symbol first starts to form in the smoky clouds, the Elder Wand shoots up directly over the space where Tina sits. I found this curious, especially when combined with the prior theory about who won the Elder Wand at the end of the first film. In one of my earliest videos, I discussed the possibility that it wasn't an either-or situation, but rather that Tina and Newt together as a team won the wand off Grindelwald. But if that's the case, it may not be evident at first in the next film, even to Grindelwald. Maybe who has claim to the Elder Wand will be a mystery that must be pieced together. Perhaps we'll see the first steps with Grindelwald laying the blame on Tina, who's always turning up where she's least wanted. What would that mean for the film? Is she going to be the focus of the action, as she is the center of this image? Notice that Newt is off to her side. She's directly in the middle, right above Theseus, who's dead center. It's curious to me that the two auras are so closely aligned visually here. I do not expect Tina to physically possess the wand. That remains in Grindelwald's clenched fist. But maybe she'll exert some power over him due to his belief in her claim. The second theory I rediscovered relates to Maledictus. I know she's a Maledictus, but for ease of speaking, I'm simply calling her that as a name. I've been pondering her ailment of a blood curse that destines her ultimately to transform into a beast, the Apotomor. Most of us have been focused on exactly what beast this is. I know there's tremendous discussion in fandom about a snake, with some speculating she may become Nagini, which is definitely exciting. However, I'm wondering if the more intriguing question might be the nature of her transformation. Let me build this theory up for you through a couple of former videos. In my video about the teachings of an ancient Greek philosopher named Pharisees, I presented the idea of metempsychosis and that in his belief system, humans could reincarnate not only as other humans, but also as animals. I found this link particularly intriguing for a series based on magical creatures. Plus, Rowling herself has commented on her theme of the beast that lives within each of us and how we make beast of others. Later, I speculated that we might see Credence transform into a magical creature at the very end of the series. Could he reincarnate into an animal? And could this magical beast be one we are already very familiar with? Wouldn't it be cool if Fox was Credence reincarnated? If he provided a living link from this earlier series, historically speaking, to Harry Potter? I do have some actual evidence for this theory, but you would need to watch the video, linked in the description below. With the info released on Maledictus, I see hints that Rowling is indeed headed in this direction. We're learning about a character whose destiny it is to fully transform into a beast. And it's also noted that this differs greatly from normal transfiguration. 
This is not by choice, and it's a full and complete change into animal form. Sounds an awful lot like Pharisides' metempsychosis to me. Might the nature of maledictus transformation shed some light on Credence's final fate? If maledictus is to turn into a beast, does that mean Credence will not? Or is it something they do together? At this point, I truly don't know. There's so little evidence to go on. But I'll be watching intently as the next Wizarding Wednesday snippets are released, and then hurry back here to share with you. And before we get away from Credence, is that a scar I see over his left eyebrow? Was he marked by what the Auras did to him in the City Hall subway? We know how important a role scars can play with rolling. I wonder what this one might indicate. It's the holiday season of celebration, and with that in mind, I've put together something I'm eager to share with you, a year's collection of videos and theories in one book. Fantastic Secrets Behind Fantastic Beasts, the video book, is not just a newly edited edition of the original book that came out last year before I started these videos. It's so much more. This volume includes all my fan theories gathered together in one place. Even better, the Kindle Interactive Edition offers the easy functionality of an ebook with the live intimacy of a video. In one book, or four depending on the format you choose, you get both my videos plus more detailed analysis, including charts and tables that never made it into a video. And all of this is fully searchable and well categorized so you can find and analyze the clues and create your own theories, which you can then come back here and share with us. But maybe the best part, I'll update this book monthly with all the latest clues, theories, and videos until Crimes of Grindelwald is released in November. And as these can be set to automatically upload to your device, you will always be up to date. What do you think about the Elder Wand seeming to go right over Tina? Or the link between Maledictus and Credence's possible transformation? Please share your thoughts in the comments. And be sure to subscribe so you won't miss the next video. So many exciting developments in Fantastic Beast fandom. So little time.